Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Today is day 20, the halfway mark on the 40 days of reflection. And I got a call this week from a friend who said that she was watching the videos, one of the few, which is fine with me, but it made it worth it that she started reading the Bible. And she, had, she was like me. She went away from the church and went more the New Age route and just was surprised when I even started um, getting back to going to church and reading the Bible. She actually kind of was negative against it and a voice that she felt I was kind of going to the dark side, which is ironic since I went to the light side. But, uh, but she started reading the Bible and she got the Bible apps and she's seeing something there. And I guess when people ask why I do something like this, especially go through the hassle of it if no one watches, I think there are a couple people who have said they started reading the Bible because of it. And I think that's actually my goal. If I could just make people read the Bible, because again, I didn't go to church for 40 years, except to a church that turned out had the wrong doctrine because they didn't believe Jesus was the Son of God and that he was required. Even though they read the Bible and taught from the Bible in Sunday church, it's like after I read the Bible on my own, it was, I don't, they're missing the boat. I don't know how they can read the entire Bible and walk away thinking anything but Jesus is the Son of God and that the only way to heaven is through Jesus. Uh, and even just how some of the stories of the Bible, you got to read it. And I guess that is my hope is just to encourage people to read it because there's so much there and it's nothing, nothing at all like I thought it would be. And I just want people to get their own opinions, not take the word for the pastor or priest or whoever's rabbi, whoever's talking to them, even though they may be a wonderful person and have a great message and be doing everything right, I think it even says in the Bible somewhere, I think we we're, we're owe it to God and to ourselves to read it for ourselves. Then we can have people help us understand it. But it's not until you read the whole thing do things start making sense. Because I I guess my entire life I'd be hearing pieces of it. You know, piece here, a piece there. and. And because I heard so many pieces, I kind of thought I knew what was in it. I knew what to expect. I knew, you know, the point of the Bible. But it wasn't until I read it from start to finish a few times does it really click. Things are making sense. And that's where, again, for my kids and all of that, I really, really, really encourage people just get the Bible and start reading it not just popcorn, not just open it and point and say, okay, God's message for me today is thus. That's not enough. That's nice. That's something you can do down the road, but you have to have that base, that foundation where it puts it all in perspective. Because then when you hear a sermon or I hear someone make a saying or anything, it's you immediately know where it fits in the Bible and how that all fits together. It makes whatever they said much more meaningful because now you have a context for it. And I guess I thought I had a context all these years, but I didn't. I was surprised, shocked. So even now in my third reading, I'm enjoying it more. I'm getting more aha moments. I'm registering it more. Sometimes it's like, wow, did I already read this before? I missed this section or I missed this point or it jumps out at me this time and it didn't last time. And I think that's what, I hate to use the word magic, but that's what's magical and mystical and spiritual about the Bible. It's not a book like any other book. Hence, it's been around a few thousand years. So that was it for today. As always, grab your cup of tea, sit back and let's start sharing. Until next time, bye-bye.